Good afternoon everyone. This is me, your friend Jenny here in British Columbia, Canada. I am here in front of this so many people lining up for what? Are they here just to do something else in this hot sunny, wet, sunny weather? But it's not. They are lining up to get their first or second dose of the vaccine look okay i'll show you where did it, where it is now it's almost over there near the edge of uh, near the curve so uh, right because this is a passing lane for bikers and skateboarders so i'm just like to to know, to let you know guys that the lineup is starts from over there and people are going that that place in order to catch up with these people <laughs> with these people in the lineups so people are respecting that and and pe people are respecting that they need the vaccine and they should have the vaccine and I applaud British Columbian government and the federal government for making it possible and people are following following and feeling that they are you know that they are it's not an obligation it's not mandatory it's still a choice of your own but people choose to have the vaccine so I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad to 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 see this coming. It is my first time to see that there's a long lineup for this evil to wait for their turn to get their own vaccine. So applause, applause, applause. <laughs> So, any nationality that's here living here in British Columbia or student or anyone that has that has um, text messages or appointment coming from the health public health will have the opportunity to have their vaccines. So, it's a choice. It's so here we go. Look, I am very near this place. But the lineup, people follow the lineup because they choose to have the vaccine. People are willing to get vaccinated for the purpose of being protected from COVID-19 because there are still variants mutation of COVID-19 are, are so much faster as, than we thought. They are faster than us. We here in British Columbia are likely to follow public health orders. So we are here. Oh my God, I'm also moving and taking into consideration that it's really long <laughs> it's not a joke people will she will wait people have respect for other people's spaces and it's nice that people are looking after their health so here you go guys take a look where it's heading I'll show you I'll show you the inside of Canada place when it is when partner is on his way to be vaccinated because I can't go inside so right now I'm showing you how it how long the lineup is so I think it's 40 to 75 minutes of waiting for you to have your 
first and se or second dose, but it's worth the line up. Look. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's orderly. You know? They 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 take their time to get out of what they're doing and take their time to come here and line up for their COVID vaccine. It's brilliant idea and we should all applaud all the working health care health care work workers that are here doing this. Look look how far I am right now. I'm almost in the building but the lineup is still over there. So the people the society at large and the public health are in this together by providing the vaccines for all. And it's free, free. I'm shy to ask, but likewise, if I have the chance to ask people, I will ask how they feel about this and how they will cherish this moment to be vaccinated, to be immunized. Because vaccination and protecting our health is um, a major sustainability for a long term. You know, it's sustainable to, to be part of keeping the society protected. And this vaccination process has a large impact to our society it it gives hope it provides hope it provides safety and it still will boost the economy of British Columbia so I'm fully vaccinated already but I am really proud 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 of British Columbia and public health. That's why the data right now that 80% of Canadians are well vaccinated for the first dose because they are following and decide and decided to go for vaccination. I repeat, this is not mandatory, this is not obligatory, but it's a self choice. It's a self decision to be vaccinated. This Van Gogh is over there. Vaccination is over here. So vaccination is in this place. It's here in Vancouver Convention Center. So how how it is well organized? It's it's well organized and everybody is keeping pace of everyone's two meters apart and still they have uh, what do you call this they have mask they are wearing masks and they are two meters apart they're socially distancing and they're making this see this is the vaccination clinic we, we are under Vancouver Coastal Health and if you have a worsening symptoms you should not come here because you should stay at home right so i am pleased that everyone is taking their time to be vaccinated i am very i really appreciate this and i am and look it's cool that everyone are included here. Diversity, inclusion, and equity are coming to fold in this. Look at them. You know, it's nice to look at people. You know, we are a strong community. We support each other. Yeah. 
all look because they want to be to have a nice and lovely summer everyone get their first shot so here you go guys these are the people the one in red are the one helping the community to or be organized it's nice to see them it's nice to see people coming together to be safe from COVID-19. Applaud, 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 applaud. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Canada Place. So if you are not yet vaccinated, take a look, register, get registered in the government website, public health, COVID-19 vaccination. Take your time to register, fill up the form, and and make and government will help you to take that and they will message you they will email you the, the employees will email and and get you an appointment for first shot or COVID or second shot of the vaccine right now there is right now the, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are here so ev everybody will have the chance to be vaccinated for two kinds of vaccines that are present right now so thank you everyone i am very proud of everyone here british colombian people hmm. i just had a conversation with a middle-aged woman she got her second shot today just five minutes ago and for her having the covid shot will protect her from covid 19 and its variants so keep going guys i really love that everyone is up to this everyone decided to be to be part of this herd immunity okay in my class in 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 my health science class so if 99% will be vaccinated, there will be herd immunity and we can help other countries to, to be vaccinated too because if we are vaccinated here, the government can share the rest of the vaccines to all other countries that are needing it. So let's keep it going guys. Let's make it happen because if we make it to the end, pandemic will be over look at them it's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there are volunteers volunteers it's nice look at them by the way don't forget to like, share, and subscribe about Jenny's YouTube channel. Right now, I'm almost. Here. Here. I left the wheelchair over there. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. This is ours. So, that the elderly will go to the other side because they are prioritized. And here we are, waiting for them to go inside. Here we go. It's high. So here we go. We are here now. Use of cameras and cell phones. Okay. See? It's thank you guys. It's just here. Oh. By the way, guys, I want to 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 inform you that as I am talking to this woman that that are 
you know, organizing people to line up in their proper place. She told me that because they have no work right now in the cruise ship industry, they, they are still working for the cruise ship, but they are trans, they, it's a modified job actually, that they are now doing this as, as part of their job in cruise ship. And it's fantastic to know that, that's amazing to understand that there are really modified works for all those people that lost their jobs in the cruise ship industry as we all know there's no cruise right now but it will be soon so giving them jobs as part of the COVID-19 response of public health or and they are given this work it's really amazing that that you know they're thinking they're critically thinking to provide jobs to people even though it's not really what they are really working before but because they are part of the customer service of the cruise ship it still is customer service look at her she's an amazing woman and that woman too and that guy who is also organizing so I think we are giving so much I think COVID-19 provide us a lot of significant um, significant ways on how to tackle job employment and you know security and health in terms of health it's like we can do so much we can make things better because we just have the ability we have the ability to make people's life better see this this woman is pointing and organizing them to be to be on lineup to get their covid shot in fairness to them they are really doing the great work I thought they were volunteers because I want to be part of it, but they're not. This is a COVID-19 economic response by the government. So we should really applaud them and make things happen for them as they better themselves and be part of the COVID-19 vaccination response here in Canada place. They are still part of the Port Vancouver. They are still part of tourism, but it's called health tourism industry right now. See, I call it health tourism. If you are vaccinated, you are healthy. You are part of the community and you can travel around the world because you are vaccinated. I, call, I will call this vlog health tourism through vaccination in order for us to travel safely and wisely and happy. Let's get some more things guys and happy Canada Day. July 1st. July 1st is on coming. So happy advance happy Canada Day. Everyone will be happy. Everyone are taking their decisions to be vaccinated and I'm happy for everyone and a lot of people here that are much better that are much more responsible much more you know conscious of themselves conscious of the community and they are part of collective health and safety so when people get get together they bring together they work together as one they make things better for the community all people will be happy you know it's a win-win situation for co for government for the community for the people and for the businesses around you know businesses will be open soon i think there are open now much better than before so when you have health promotion when you are aware of health promotions you are considered part of the community because you decided to be part of being healthy.
It's not mandatory. I'm telling you. It's not obligatory. It's not mandatory. But it's our decision to be part of collective health and safety of the community. Let's promote health. Let's promote health for all.